Hi, I'm Mahalakshmi. Today we are going to make vitamin C serum using HEC hydroxyethyl cellulose instead of hyaluronic acid. This is the one which we will be making today. You can see it is quite thick but it absorbs quickly into the skin. The vitamin C form used here is ethyl ascorbic acid. It is also a powerful antioxidant. If you want to know more about the other ingredients used and substitutions, check out my blog in the description. You will find the supplier details too. There are few considerations while formulating a vitamin C. The pH needs to be considered. For the 3,0 ethyl ascorbic acid to function uh, well, it needs to be formulated between pH 4 to 5. Uh, I have uh, adjusted the pH to 4.5 since if it goes below, my skin starts feeling irritated. Also, I have stored it in a non-opaque bottle so that uh, it is less prone to light and oxidation. You can use dark color bottles too to store vitamin C. There are different forms of vitamin C which can also be used but the usage rate and the pH differs from form to form. These are the ingredients required. This is propanediol and preservative. You can see Uxil PE is dissolved in propanediol 1,3. This is the gum hydroxyethyl cellulose and sodium lactate. We will take half of the water and gum. We'll put it on double boiler to melt and dissolve everything. Next is sodium gluconate. Now we will add the DL panthenol. Okay, you can see it is completely clear. Everything has dissolved. Now we will add the extract. This is arbutin extract and anti-acne extract. Both are the natural extracts derived from the plants. The next one is preservative and propanediol. This is brought from the double boiler. You can see the gum has melted completely. I mean dissolved completely. And it is at room temperature. Do not mix this in while it is still hot because the preservative will become uh, not functional. Okay. We'll slowly add it and stir. We don't want again lumps to form, so we'll add slowly and stir it. Don't worry about the bubbles, it will settle down maximum in a day. You can leave this for some time before pouring it into the container. Here I have used water, instead of water you can use hydrosol, it will give a good smell to the serum. Since I have used only water, it will smell something like uh, vitamin C or it doesn't have much of smell. You can also add hy hyaluronic acid, just sprinkle powder in the last phase and leave it for 3 to 4 hours or 8 hours. It will form beautiful gel. We will leave it for a few minutes. You can see that the pH is considerably high. It is around 6. So I will add few drops of citric acid solution to bring it down to pH 4.5 which suits my skin and is also effective for the vitamin C serum. 
if you can see the ph is around 4.65 which is also completely fine uh, to bring it down you can add one or two drops of citric acid but i'm fine with this okay now it is the most interesting part filling the container okay if you want to know more about this ingredients and formulation i will put it in the uh, i'll put the blog link in the description box you can check that let me show you a demo it has transparent color and is not gummy too it doesn't feel irritated if you have any suggestions uh, or questions you can put in the comment section thank you for watching